default constructor is of two types. Mm, one is system defined default constructor and user defined default constructor. System defined default constructor. For example, if we are uh, uh, having uh, one object, or one method, we, if we have one method with some variables and we are trying to display something. Okay, but if we don't give any values to them, then what will happen by default zero will be assigned for integer and null values will be assigned to coded values or you know, uh, some dummy values. And we will use them. That is what user defined default constructor. Parameterized constructor means, so we'll send the values while creating the object as parameters to the constructor. That's what's called as parameterized constructor. And finally, copy constructor. So if you want to copy one object values into another object or another constructor, if you want to, if you want to pass the values like that, then that is what called as copy constructor. Okay. So uh, that's what I have uh, explained in our last session. So we'll see one example for copy constructor now and uh, see. <clears throat> So see, here we have student number and student name. This is our constructor and we kept what? The name, the values. Okay. So here what I'm doing by using uh, the above object, we're just assigning the values. Okay. So if we display the values, we'll get those. And I'm just trying to create the object and calling the method. So simple. We are copying one object values into another uh, another object or something like that's what copy construct. We'll see multiple examples on copy construct. Just note down this program.
so uh, we will we'll, uh, we'll tell the second example simple here in this example we are using parameterized constructor and copy constructor at same time uh, sorry parameterized and uh, Uh, copy constructor. So, so first we'll get the values from parameterized constructor here. After that, we are implementing this copy constructor and we are uh, copying the values. So people see here, initially what happened? And this E number, E number, E name. So this one is our uh, parameterized constructor and this one is our copy constructor. Okay. So coming back to here object. So we are creating one object here. Okay. After that, what we are doing? So we are just copying one object values into another object. So people see here, employee OBJ1 equal to new employee OBJ. Okay. So from where we are getting from here. So this whatever the OBJ values we are having. So we are just passing here. Okay. So after that, I'm creating one more object. Okay. So now what happened? So simply I'm copying this OBJ1 values into this OBJ2. That is what our this values 101 common array so simply i'm printing c here console dot right line obj2 dot e number that means whatever we have in obj2 what we have in obj2 obj what is obj this one okay so this one i'm printing from where original obj and after that what we are doing here we are uh, <coughs> passing obj2 see we have three objects now one two three and so we are calling those three objects here okay so now see here we have what obj1 relate let's print the output and let's see <clears throat> we are getting all the values so simply what is happening we are copying one object values into another object that is what called as copy constructor here we have used what parameters constructor as a reference okay just note down
see uh, dibya ranjan please connect with our admin hari prasad he will help you i don't have any access sir i don't have any information regarding any recordings or something so i can only teach dot net and i can help you guys in your dot net questions only please connect with him he will help you in that okay done so uh, can uh, we will move to our next one <clears throat> same so static constructor how how you make a constructor as static simple if you keep static keyword before our uh, constructor then that is what called as static constructor see uh, i will just show you a small example then you people will understand So see, uh, what is our class name here? A. What is the syntax for declaring a constructor? Access modifier class name. But in our static constructor, we cannot keep access modifier. So simply in place of access modifier, we'll keep static keyword and class name. That's it. So that is what called a static constructor. Okay. So we'll see a couple of examples with uh, static constructor also. Okay. Just uh, note down the static constructor. We'll see one more problem. So done guys. Okay, we'll move to one more example. <clears throat>
so same again so we declared three static variables this is what our uh, syntax so now i will unmute someone and i will ask question akshay akshay hi akshay so uh, can you tell me uh, so what is the syntax for declaring a constructor declaring a constructor hmm. last and uh, sorry access modifier and class name perfect that's it right so <clears throat> this is what the syntax now if you want to make a uh, constructor as static then what we need to do place a static uh, variable sorry keep uh, before the class uh, before the class name we should place the static variable static keyword static keyword yes hmm. static so now what happened static class name that's what called as a static, static. constructor <laughs> so is that clear yes sir okay uh, so see uh, i will ask you a few more questions so <clears throat> so simple so this is what our static constructor here what we are doing we are just passing some static variables simply uh, which this is uh, how this is looking so by seeing this one user defined default constructor agree with me so in user defined default constructor also we will what hard code the values so similarly this one maybe this will change uh, based upon the time and all but still what will happen so this will be same for today so system dot date time dot now dot day mine means what now means what today whatever the day today is what monday so whatever the date we have it will print like that okay it is showing one message but i'm unable to see the message okay so after that uh, display date simple uh, whatever the date we are displaying there so uh, in zero place we'll keep day in one place month and two place year and uh, that is separated with what this hyphen and finally what is the syntax for calling a method uh, for static tell me static class perfect uh, static class sorry what is the so syntax static, for calling a method static method sir ah what is date here yeah, method and cloud call name method name dot class name class name dot method name okay so what is date here date class 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 and what is the display date here method so this is a static method that's why class name dot method name okay that's what we done here yes it uh, actually it won't allow access modifiers but it will take parameters okay see if i'm keeping access modifier here people see here it is telling like access modifiers are not allowed on static constructors okay so same not allowed on static constructor so we cannot use access modifier fine so just note down this one we will see constructor overloading our next concept <laughs> what is method overloading i will ask someone no will give chance to other person aruna <coughs> hi aruna <coughs> she is not unmuting and not speaking
கௌரி பெராமீட்டர் <laughs> So, oh, shit. So, what is method to overloading? Same method name and different parameters. Right. So, now, if I ask by seeing the same uh, method to overloading, if i ask you to write constructor overloading hmm tell me so this is method overloading that's why same method name but different parameter so now this is constructor overloading tell me what is how you will define same same as method sir i mean no, same as method overloading hmm now tell me definition for that same same one constructor name with different parameters so ah, yes correct so same constructor name but different parameters is known as what constructor overloading okay so what is constructor overloading same constructor name but different parameters is known as constructor overloading very good versing kan very good very good okay okay so yeah are done with the program <clears throat> Okay, note down.
just note of the definition of constructor overloading same constructor name but different parameters is called as constructor overloading <coughs> So please note down uh, same constructor name but different parameters is known as constructor overloading. So simple. See, this is one constructor and this is one constructor. This is not having any parameters and this is having one parameter. So this is having two parameters. Okay. So same constructor name, but different parameters. Okay. Yes or no? So this is what called as constructor power loading. So here what we are doing, we are passing the parameters and uh, if we pass one parameter, then what will happen? This constructor will be called. If we pass two parameters, then what will happen? This constructor will be called. If I pass this one zero values, then the first constructor will be called. Let's see the output now. So we got the three values, right? Similarly, what I will do, uh, I will remove this one. Now what will happen? So we are not calling this constructor now. That means it won't print this one. Only it will print these two. Why? Because we are calling with the uh, parameter, one, one, uh, one, uh, one constructor with one parameter. And here, constructor with two parameters only we are calling here. Just see. <coughs> see yes sir so we are able to get the values from where only two constructor so similarly if i comment this one also okay so now let's see what will happen so only this one will come You got it right. So this is how. So now tell me what is constructor overloading? Same. See, I don't know, it is showing messages and when I open here, there is no message. Same constructor name, but different parameters. Is known as but constructor overloading. Okay, just note down this definition.
so i mean if you joined some other batches like uh, asp dot uh, uh, sorry uh, html web technologies related or uh, sql related try your hands apart from c sharp how many are going parallel the other batches 6 7 8 10, 11, 12. Only 12? See, 13. See what happened, Divya, Swapna, Snehal. What you have completed, madam? Okay, those two you already completed, Sandhya? Super, super. So then uh, you can, you are, you are waiting for only SP.NET MVC and core. Very good, very good, Sandhya. So, mostly see uh, we came to the you know the interesting topics and uh, so we are almost we so soon within three four classes we are going to complete our groups <coughs> so what happened these people don't respond when i ask questions when i ask when i ask them to unmute also they don't respond I don't know what these people will do. <coughs> now raise your hands who did not uh, are attending any uh, any class than this C sharp, any any other class than this C sharp. Let's see. So 13 people means 25 people come should come here. So other people can uh, just down your hands for now. Yes. Uh, now start rising. So we are not going for any classes. I mean, other than she shirt. Three people, two people. Okay, so go for web, techno web technology seva. So if you have any, immediately join them. <clears throat> so I just remember these names who are responding and uh, I'm attending UI, sir. Okay. Okay, now uh, if, if you complete some six, seven classes in UI, then you if any SQL are starting, you can go for that. Mostly within 20 days, uh, we'll complete our C-sharp. Mostly. Okay. okay so why i'm telling again so see i told you people while you people joined the darknet session like uh, you know uh, if you people if you people uh, i will help you guys when to join the classes so it's my responsibility to tell that's why i'm telling whether you follow or not it's up to you guys Okay, just note down the program.
So here the same constructor number, different parameters is known as constructor overloading, and this is the problem.
so are you guys done okay so tomorrow we'll discuss about abstract class so that is one of the most important concept in c sharp so how our roots concepts are important similarly abstract class and interface are most important they are pillars of uh, c sharp actually see and after that properties that is also fine uh, topic and sealed class partial class with that we will complete our roots okay so uh, from tomorrow uh, this week most importantly all of the all of uh, this week classes are so important so important means so important so uh, you know uh, they are designed for real time only those classes so uh, most reused things are most used things in real time so like abstract class interface properties uh, sealed class partial class is a small concept only 15 20 minutes uh, topic but uh, these three topics are so so important so don't miss the classes and so uh, in our uh, last in our one of the session we was discussing like you know so and one more thing abstract class is abstract class continuation is interface and uh, abstract class continuous in sealed class if you miss abstract class then you, you will miss that one also so that's why don't miss uh, the class okay fine so thank you all for joining we'll meet you in our next class